to our channel. Jacob's not with me today because I was going to do a first trimester recap. Um, I took notes throughout my entire first trimester every week of what my symptoms were, what was happening in my body, what I was feeling, what I was noticing. Um, and so I just wanted to film like a little recap both for me and for anyone that I interest. Um, yeah. And I'm going to do my makeup and get ready for the day while I tell you about what my first trimester was like. And I also just want to say thank you to everyone who was so lovely on our video announcing that we were pregnant. People were so sweet and it just is really wonderful to have other people celebrate your baby with you. And I think our video next week I'm going to post of us telling our family that we're pregnant. But it was such a fun video and I'm really, really excited to like have it edited and all together so I can watch it back. I get like emotional every time I watch like those clips. So anyway, let's start the first trimester recap. So I know there is some like controversy in the world of what counts as your first trimester and what does not and like what week it ends at and everything. My doctor said it ended week 12. So I'm just going to recap week 1 through 12 and if you think the first trimester is different that's cool but those are just the weeks I'm gonna do so week five is kind of where it starts and week five I was sleepy so tired like randomly taking naps and as the first trimester progressed I just got more and more tired where like I would accidentally take a three hour nap or I would take like four 15 minute naps randomly throughout the day, not trying to fall asleep. I would just fall asleep. Um, five weeks, I also had boob pain. Dear Lord. Even just saying boob pain feels like the biggest understatement of the year. It was like, this might be TMI, but the water in the shower felt like razors to my nipples. So painful. Um, what else? I had some cramping. That's something I wasn't expecting. I didn't know that you would have cramps and be pregnant. Maybe that's dumb and everyone knows that. I did not know that. I started at week five. I would wake up almost every single night between 3 and 4 a.m. And I am 17 weeks now. That is still happening. I don't know why. It's not the best, but whatever. Another weird thing for me is I was pooping a lot. Again, sorry if that's TMI, but like pooping a lot. And I normally struggle with constipation. I have like IBS. And so like I don't poop. That's my normal is not pooping. Excuse me. <laughs> Another thing is I'm really burpy. It's gross. But that was about it for week five. Week six, I noted I was even more tired than last week. That's when I started to get a little bit of nausea. Um, my cramps, they also got a little bit better that week, which was wonderful. I was bloated. Um, my boobs, they're big. So like pre-pregnancy, Sarah, no boobies. Went through puberty, still no boobies. Uh, pregnant Sarah looks like she's going through puberty now, which is kind of fun. Um, but my boobs were growing. Week seven is when I started to feel like I went more from just being like sleepy tired to like fatigued, like had no energy to do anything ever. Um, which was really, really hard, really hard doing anything felt like it took my entire energy and like come 11 a.m. I was kind of toast for the day like I wasn't gonna be able to do much more I started craving things in week seven um salty foods I just wanted salty foods like popcorn oh, so delicious so delicious at eight weeks that is when good old not just showed up. I'm laying on the couch right now because I feel so nauseous and I know that I need to eat food. 
because that's been like the thing that will help my nausea. But I feel so sick. I don't feel like I can go make food, but I need to eat food to not feel so sick. I don't know how to solve this problem. And I actually never threw up, which really shocked me. I definitely thought I was going to. Um, but I never got sick in the way of vomiting. I just felt sick like all the time. I ate a lot of saltines, a lot of applesauce, and I actually like lost some weight first trimester, which I've learned is very common, just because I couldn't, I couldn't eat like full meals. It just was not gonna happen. Um, and then whenever I wasn't feeling like I was about to vomit my guts out, I was so thirsty, which I still am. Even saying it makes me want water. Also at week nine, it's when my hormonal acne showed up. These zits, it's been like three, four weeks and they're still not gone. So the hormonal acne is real and it's rough. But anything from a sweet little baby bean. Uh, nine weeks, what else? I was still having some cramps at nine weeks, which again really concerned me because I didn't know that you could be having cramps. And it makes sense because your uterus is growing. Like, it's stretching in ways it's never had to before. But I just, I just didn't know. And so the cramps to me was always like, oh, that's a sign of miscarriage. It's never like a sign that everything's fine. And so they were mentally difficult for me to overcome for sure. Okay, week 10. You know how I mentioned I was pooping a lot? Yeah, week 10, everything changed. I didn't poop for a week. A full week. I mean, it kind of made me feel like I had a little baby bump. It was actually just poop. But um, that was very uncomfortable. And so I switched around my diet and I started to be really cautious about eating high fiber. And that's helped a lot. Also, another way I managed my IBS before is through exercise. And I was so tired or so sick that I didn't exercise my entire first trimester, which I think also played into not pooping. Uh, at the 10 week mark, I wrote down that my cramps were only like there every once in a while. It was like a little bit better or it was better. My cramps were better around week 10. My nausea also started to get a little bit better around week 10. I could feel like I could do a little bit more and be okay. I felt like it wasn't, I needed to eat every like hour to survive. I wrote, originally I wrote, energy is coming back some. And then later I went back and edited it and I put lol, no. <laughs> so I think maybe I just had like a good day or something. And then the next day went downhill. Uh, week 11, I experienced sciatica pain for the first time, which again, I was not prepared for. There are so many little things in pregnancy. I'd even heard of sciatica pain, but I never felt it. And it like was alarming. Um, it only lasts for a short amount of time, but it's not fun. Week 11, I also felt even better um, with my nausea and with my energy. A new symptom that appeared week 11 was I started to experience some back pain um, I feel like it was just kind of a, it only happens a couple times, like a random thing, because I'm not still feeling that at all. Uh, the 12th week, so the final week of my first trimester, I had another new symptom pop up. It was a doozy. Okay, so the new symptom that popped up that I was not ready for nosebleeds who knew who knew it's like because you're pregnant and you don't get your period you're not bleeding every month instead you'll get nosebleeds it's just rude it's just rude but i got nosebleeds and it's not like your regular nosebleed 
like, I think that week I got like four nosebleeds and they would last for like 30 minutes and they would come on all of a sudden and maybe it doesn't help that I'm pregnant in winter, but they would come on all of a sudden and like, down, again, TMI, but like they were down more and like get in my mouth. There would be drips on my clothes. I think I actually originally had stained this sweatshirt. I left puddles on the like carpet while running to the bathroom to get tissues. They were the most dramatic nosebleeds of my life and would take so freaking long to go away. Um, I haven't had one since then, since that week. Or I think I had one. So they're not happening very often now, but like week 12 I have three or four of them, which is just insane. I also noted week 12. I don't know why I noted it here not every other week, because I've really experienced this every single week is itchy boobs. Um, and that's because my boobs are growing and are massive compared to what they were. And I just feel like my boobs have farther to grow than other people's maybe, because they started so tiny. I don't know, maybe everyone feels like their boobs like grow a whole bunch. But I feel like mine are going from like zero to a hundred. Well, real quick. Okay, that's a very brief synopsis of what the first trimester was like for me. Uh, I feel like I could go into more detail about a lot of them. So that's kind of just like spitfiring my like symptoms too that I experienced. Um, yeah, and I also... I am excited to make the video of like what I didn't expect with pregnancy or things that shocked me with pregnancy. I don't know what I'm going to title it because I feel like there's just some ways that like you will watch a video like this one or at least I have watched videos like this one and they'll be like oh yeah I had like nausea, I had like sciatica pain, I had this or that and then like you don't realize the depth of what that means or the depths of how that could impact you or change your day and what it makes like your work look like and just like your life look like um so i feel like there's more details to give but that is my recap for now i'll show you a little baby a little bump date once i get this earring this is my little bean, my little 17 week baby bump. They're the size of a navel orange. Have you ever heard anything cuter in your life? Probably not, unless you've been pregnant, then you've heard that same thing that I've heard. Uh, but that's it. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I'm so glad that you're here and that you're like going on this journey with us. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the next video we're going to post is our family reaction to find out we're pregnant. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited for that one. And I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your day.